how you doing and a very warm welcome to another Wi-Fi Sheep Tech video with me Tom. Now I don't know if you've seen this yet but literally the other day our uh, Commander-in-Chief of the Hersby Pie Project, Eden Upton, posted a very interesting blog up on the official Raspberry Pi website. Take a look at this. So if you go to raspberrypi.org forward slash blog, you can see this more recent post entitled Learn to Write Games for the BBC Micro with Evan. And as you can see, it's written by Evan Upton from Raspberry Pi Foundation and talks about his experience of using the BBC Micros in the 80s. This is well documented. And then shows an active tutorial here, helicopter tutorial it's called. I wonder where he got that from. Anyway, it's very well put together, explains exactly what's going on in BBC Basic and gives screenshots of what the output would be at each different stage. If we scroll down the bottom here, we've got the full source code listing. Now, if you're super lazy, what you can do is simply copy that. And if you've got BBEM, which is the BBC Micro Emulator, loaded on your system, you can actually paste the code straight in and that will actually run. But where's the fun in that? Interestingly, if you notice at the top of the article here, it says tutorial will carry out on Mac PCs as well as an original BBC Micro if you have access to one. Yes, well, I think if you know anything about us here on Wi-Fi Sheep, you know when it comes to original hardware, we know a thing or two. Follow me. Welcome to my new computer workshop and storage area. As you can see, plenty of machines are waiting attention. I also have my big box PC software. And now I am actually capable of having a Master 128 set up permanently. However, we won't be using this particular BBC Micro much today. Instead, I've decided to opt for a more traditional and earlier BBC Micro Model B. And I'm going to use a more modern LCD flat screen. Uh, this will make life a little bit easier later on. I'm also going to plug in an original five and a quarter inch floppy drive. So we've got something to use as storage. So you can see what's going on. I'm going to attach a BNC to RCA phono adapter. And for the monitor, I'm going to use a DIN to SCART adapter. Okay, so I've got the machine fully set up now. So let's just see if it works. It's a good sound. Brilliant, and there we go. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I just trust me that's now uh, on the screen. Uh, I've also now got my MacBook with me with the program here listed on the website. So all it's left to do now is to type the code into the computer. That might be a while. Okay, I'm sort of... Um, halfway through the listing at the minute i've done 18 lines it says line 180 but we're going up in 10 so that's 18 lines um i've had to retype a few if i was gonna find some to point would have sort of around here made a few mistakes so i've had to retype some lines uh it's actually really really tricky if you look at things like line 170 it's all this percentage equals 10 c percentage brackets mine i mean it makes sense this is basic, it makes sense, but um, yeah, <laughs> it's, I'm halfway through and I'm thinking I need a break, but uh, we shall carry on. Okay, so I'm just on the final line of the program now, which is line 330, which is until false. There we go. So let's just CLS clear the screen. Let's relist our program. Okay, um, let's try running and see what happens. Hmm. Let's have a think about this. That's not quite right. Yeah, so after another hour, maybe two hours of fiddling with the code, I realized I'd actually mistyped this V3 
few things causing the program to go haywire. But as you can see, although things were beginning to work, it still didn't look quite right. Okay, so I've been working on the program for probably about another hour. I've managed to tweak all the bugs out, I hope. Let's run it and see what happens. And success, thank goodness. Here is the game actually working as it should do on original BBC Micro hardware. And it runs surprisingly fast. So with all that work done, I wanted to save my program. So I dug out my uh, stockpile of floppy disks. This is new old stock five and a quarter inch disks. But the disks need formatting, something that the BBC Model B can't do. So I went over to my trusty BBC Master, put my uh, fresh disk in the five and a quarter drive, and then using the onboard formatting tools that come with the BBC Master, formatted the disk to 80 tracks and drive one. Okay, with that done, take the disc out and we'll put it into the other disc drive on the Model B, which will now be able to read the disc. And if I now list my program, I can now save it. Okay, one final thing I'm now doing with the program is I'm just adding a little bit of colour. So here I've added line 269, colour 3, and here line 259, colour 1. And what that'll do is that will actually, if we run the program, that will add colour. However, because the BBC Micro only outputs in black and white through its BNC connector, you'll just see it as a grayscale. Hence why I plugged in the monitor to allow you to see this in colour. So there we go, there's a fun little project for a Saturday afternoon. Well I hope you've really enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to us here on the Wi-Fi Sheep channel and I'll see you real soon. Until next time, bye for now. Thank you.